The one, back at it again, man, back yeah. in Houston. But this time, a little bit different. Yeah. Coming from Jackson Lake, so tell me how it's, how's it been with the preparation, new camp, and a, and a camp with the guy who's headlining this part. Man, it, it's it's truly been an amazing and inspiring experience, man. Uh, I'm just happy, you know. Before it was, you would go to, I'd go to class. I'm like, damn it, man, I gotta get this done. I would get fight news. And I'm like, damn it, I gotta do another fight camp. But now. It's like, Oh yeah, let's, let's try this out. And um, you know, every day I'm looking forward to going and training. I'm, I'm excited. I've been doing a lot of personal development on the side as well, with therapy, sports psychologists, all that. Uh, really, just making myself a better person, and then from there, making myself a better fighter. So, as me, the person grows, me, the fighter gets better. So, the sports psychology thing, like, did, is that something you seek you seek out yourself? Yeah. So um, it was funny because in, in college. Um, I would do great on guys that weren't ranked or guys that I was supposed to be. But anytime I saw a number next to the name, I would start psyching myself out. So my coach had me start working with a sports psychologist um, my first senior year, and then he asked me to come back a fifth, a fifth year. So I dropped some classes, re, you know, set it up to where I would have to come back a fifth year, and uh, we did all that. And uh, it, you know, it really just took my game to the next level. Um, but also, it, it kind of hit a point where wrestling wasn't the end-all, be-all for me anymore. So now, working with a sports psychologist, I'm recognizing that this isn't this is what I do, but it's not who I am. You know? And that, how do you feel that that's, I guess, kind of changed like your mentality heading into this fight? Uh, it changed my mentality quite a bit because uh, I was looking forward to, you know, looking forward to the opportunities again, looking forward to really doing something and it made me remember that I, I did this because I wanted to, you know, I loved this. It. it wasn't because I had a last option or I couldn't do anything else, you know, I've got a degree in computer science, I have a minor in exercise science, you know, I've got, it's easy for me to get other jobs, but I did this because I wanted to and I enjoy competition and, um, you know, it just reminded me of everything that I love about fighting. So a little birdie told me that you're pretty in depth with your skin skincare routine. So Very. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Okay, so uh First and foremost, this is the stuff I do myself, all right? Uh, I go out to Outside Hope for my nails, uh, toenails and fingernails. But uh, skincare, so I do, you gotta make sure your shower's hot enough, but not too hot, cause you don't wanna scald yourself. It opens up the pores and everything. Then I go and make sure I'm completely dried off. Uh, but first I hit off with Old Spice, you know, I got my scent from Old Spice, and then I do another one with uh, aloe vera in it, right? Just to make sure everything's nice, opens everything up. Aloe and eucalyptus uh, in my soap. And then from there, I get out of the shower, the room still see me, I dry off and everything, and I have one of three different lotions that I get from Bath & Body Works. I use Bath & Body Works men's lines because it's got three times the shea butter as before. That's crucial, okay? <laughs> so depending on how you want that scent to mix with your cologne that you're gonna wear out later that night, that's when you choose. Now all this, mind you, is after I'm done training for the day. Because if I do all this and then I have to go train again, it's, it's a waste, all right? Because then you gotta shower again. So I take about two to three showers a day, depending on how many times I train. Once I'm done training, this is my last training. I'm about to go out and just live the rest of my day type deal. So you get all the lotion on, right? That's just, so then you're done with the body, right? Oh, obviously I have my little manscaped razors that I, you know, I hit. You know, you gotta, gotta keep that tight, you know? You don't want, you don't want your happy trail to be a happy highway, all right? That's, you don't want that. So after all that said and done, you know, I've got my manscaping done, I've got my body right, then we move up to the face, right? So I have three different, uh, I have two different conditioners I use in my beard. One's a shampoo and conditioner, one's more of an intense conditioner to make sure it doesn't knot up throughout the day. I comb my beard out, and I do all this in the sink, not the shower, okay? Because you don't want your body to get too saturated with water. So I'm in the sink at this point. It's pretty hot, but not too hot. It opens up the pores and everything. And as I'm rubbing the oil and stuff into my beard, I comb it out and everything. Now we move on to the hair, right? I do the hair next because I don't want the hair, uh, my lotion and the hair to distract from the face. So here we move up to the hair. In the shower, I do, you know, my obvious shampoo conditioner. Then here we move on to the brushing out and the leave-in conditioner. This is, we're done from the day. I got to keep my hair moisturized, especially in New Mexico because it's a really arid climate, right? So I'm doing all this, pull the hair up, get in a little messy bun. It would be braided, but I've had a lot of obligations this week. So we're going to go get it braided after this. Uh, so, you know, we do all that. We pull it up. 
Now we focus on the skin, right? It's gotta be warm water. Obviously open the pores up. You wash, you have a different face wash. You can't use the same body wash as you do face wash. That's how you get rashes. It's everybody knows this common knowledge, fellas. Write that down. Use a different face and body wash, okay? So you do all that, we get there, you wash the face, do the face wash. I've got the beard balm in. Now here we gotta moisturize the face. You also have to have a different lotion for your body as your face. Typically for your face, you want something with a little bit of SPF in it because it's always exposed to the light, right? You do all that, so I get that, have all that set. Uh, my face stuff is typically also from Bath and Body Works, but there's a place in downtown, or not downtown, the Galleria, I get some stuff from as well. Typically I'll do something with a little mint in there just to you know, open up, if I'm getting sinus or anything, it opens things up a little. Mm -hmm. So the mint makes you feel good. And then after we do all that, we hit it with the lotion and we're good to go. Jeez, you need to write a book about this. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> hey, you gotta take care. You look good, you feel good, you compete good, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, final question for me, man. So, how do you see yourself getting in the race? Honestly, um, I see myself winning this fight um, in the second round, really. I, I know my opponent's had cardio issues before. I don't think he's ever been to the second round. Uh, I do respect the man's power, uh, so I'm not gonna just go in there and get into a gunfight. You know, we're gonna respect his power. I'm gonna move around a lot. A lot of stuff has changed since I've been in Jackson Week. My stance has changed, uh, and you know, sticking to a game plan now, as opposed to getting hit one time and saying screw it. <laughs> so. Uh, I see that, you know, first round, he's going to be trying to find his range, try and land that. I've got a reach advantage. I'm more athletic than I'm going to move a lot, uh, force him to chase. And second round, when he goes to clinch, um, you know, I'll either knock him out on his way in or I'm going to take him down and pound him out. You know? No problem. Thank you, brother. What's up, my man?